Today I'm going to show you some of the trickier parts of building the woodwind player. In stage 4B we're gluing part number 13 on part number 9. I'm just going to show you how to measure that in the correct position. So it is 24 millimetres from the inside crook of his knee. So if you mark across part number 9, make it nice and clear, and then dip part number 13 in some glue and put it on up to the line across in the, in the middle of down the center line of the piece rather than flush with either side. So I'm going to show you the stage uh, number six when we're gluing part number 14 onto part number 15. It's very important that we don't get any glue in the hole. Um, so if you just put a dot of glue in the furthest corners then that lowers the risk of any getting where we don't want it to be. So if you do that and then visually just line up those holes as, as accurately as possible. Um, now if you take this part that was prepared in stage two, give it plenty of wax uh, along its length so that um, any glue won't stick to it. You can then use this just to test the alignment of your two holes and if that goes through the holes smoothly, then you know you're lined up happily. At stage nine, it's really important that you put lots and lots of wax on, on the cam, which is part number 23, because once this bit of the mechanism has been put together, um, it won't be accessible. So this is not something you can do retrospectively. So that goes on first then glue around there and then the cam on next push it up to the side piece but not too tight because you want the handle to still be able to turn nice and freely so make sure that that is loose enough and then wax around the inside of that hole as well and then that can go on there. So later in the build, when you can't reach those parts, you know that they're well well waxed. In stage 11, we're going to position and glue the cams in place. So start by just pushing them to the side. And then if we put the glue guard just against the side there and tuck that one up to it, then we know there's enough space to prevent it being from to prevent it being too tight and stopping the handle turning smoothly. So if we put some glue around there, bring the triangle cam up to it, twist as you go just to spread the glue all the way around, and then a bit more glue, next spacer up, twist around again, and then for this second round cam, make sure that this cam is pointing the opposite direction to the first cam. So whilst that one is pointing upwards, that one needs to be pointing downwards. And when they're all in position, you can take that out of the way and test that it's all turning smoothly and leave to dry. With these two pieces that you prepared in stage 12, make sure they've got plenty of wax along their length and put some wax on that peg too. And then the smaller peg goes inside the thicker peg and make sure that this little peg here is going to sit in that groove there. Okay, so once that's in position, we can put the top on. and get that all straight. When it's, uh, when it's in position, you can test it to make sure that nothing's getting in the way of these pieces turning. Make sure that's settled comfortably and leave to dry.
So at stage 14 we're going to put the stool in place. Um, so that's going to go on there and like I explained earlier it's important to keep the glue out of the hole because this piece has to um, twist freely. So again we're just going to put a little blob of glue on the further corners so that it can't get anywhere near the hole. So that goes in place there. And you can turn the handle and make sure that that is twisting freely. And then we put the leg in place, but first of all, make sure that that peg is well waxed. That slots in there like that. And then we put the first part of the body on. And again, just a blob of glue in the further corners so we make sure it doesn't go in the hole. And again, you can turn the handle at this stage and make sure that everything is moving freely. When we put this piece on in stage 16, we need to adjust it so that it swings equally to the front and the back. So just twist it a little until you can see that the gap between that edge and that edge is equal to the gap between that edge and that edge. And then we glue inside this lip here. The dowel is slightly lower than the surface of this part and we just fill that gap with glue creating a sort of crescent shape of glue and leave that to dry very thoroughly. At stage 31 the reason why we haven't glued the arms in position yet um, is because we need to experiment a little bit with um, how they are positioned in relationship to the clarinet itself. So you've got three points of articulation here for the arms. You've got the shoulders, the elbows and the angle at which we glue the hands. So we can adjust those until we've got it in the position that we want. So if we just start with the arm on this side. Glue around the shoulder piece. That goes in the hole there. I'm just going to twist the shoulder a little bit until I've got his arm vaguely where I think it needs to be. And then glue the end of the hand and inside the palm and the thumb. And find an angle that sits comfortably there on the instrument and on the wrist. I'm just going to hold that for a minute, make sure the glue has held, and then tackle the other arm. So this is quite a fiddly job, so just go slowly and gently. So that's the second arm, and we'll have that one down a little bit lower about there, so I think that's going to be okay. So get the hand glued and ready. At a slight angle there and rest it on the instrument. And hold for a minute. Until it's safe to let go and leave it to dry. So the positioning of the arms for the flute player is the same process as we've just been through with the clarinetist. Um, the difference being that the head needs to be angled a little bit more to accommodate the sideways position of the instrument in this case. So again if we start with the thumb
glue the shoulder in. Have a think about where that arm is going to go. And we'll have that one at the higher position. Get the hand glued up with a bit of glue in the palm and a bit on the thumb. And think about what angle that hand is going to need to be fixed at. So about there. I'm just going to hold this for a minute until it's just the glue is just caught and then turn it around to position the second arm. That hand will take up a lower position. Play around with the different joints a little bit. And find a comfortable position for it comfortable angle for it to sit at and hold for a minute and leave it to dry.